Hello. My name's Mr. Perkins. I'm one of the engine drivers on the island of Sodor. But today, I'm not on Sodor. Today, I'm on the mainland, visiting this beautiful railway. It's called a steam railway, because most of the engines are steam engines. You can see the steam puffing from this engine's funnel. But where does the steam come from? And how does it make an engine go? Here's Thomas on Sodor. He's a steam engine too. He stopped to fill up his tanks with water. A steam engine needs to carry lots of water because it's water that's used to make the steam. This engine needs more water too. The driver gets the hose from the big water tower. And when the fireman opens the valve, water can flow into the engine. Oops! I think that's enough. This engine is a bit like Thomas. It keeps the water it needs in its own tanks. Here's a much bigger engine. This engine has its own special wagon to hold its coal and water. It's called a tender. When this engine stops for water, the fireman fills up the tender, not the engine. A big tender like this can carry a lot of water. And the tender carries the coal as well. To make steam, this engine would need coal as well as water. Out on the tracks, the fireman lets the water flow from the tender into the engine's boiler. This gauge tells the fireman when the boiler is full. In the middle of the boiler, surrounded by water, is the firebox. The fireman stokes up the fire with lots of coal. The heat from the fire makes the water boil and turn into steam. The steam fills the engine's pistons, which drive the wheels round and round. And steam puffs from the engine's funnel. So, now we know how steam engines use water to make steam to drive their wheels. That was very interesting. <coughs> but this engine is ready to leave. I better be going. I wonder what we'll see next time. Goodbye.